With an assignment like this, you need a university like this. I really want to be used by God, and for me, I really love photography and video communications. I just feel like I need more training before I go out into the world. I really want to receive quality education, especially in the area of history, which is one of my main interests. And coming from a former communist country, I would love to learn things from a Christian perspective. I'm interested in uh, practical work, in uh, relief and development, and I like to pursue training in order to bring back development to my country. I want to be trained to do whatever God wants me to do. The University of the Nations is, uh, of course, uh, an integral part of Youth with a Mission. All of the ministries within YWAM have the same goal of knowing God and uh, to make Him known. And uh, although in the university we certainly uh, desire to have academic excellence, it is in the context of, of knowing God, uh, seeking his guidance and revelation and inspiration and uh, the development of character that he provides as we learn more about his character. The disciples saw societies transform and at the University of the Nations we're equipping our students to see the same revolution in every domain and in every nation. We're training young people in the University of the Nations to change their society 
or renew the foundations of their society on the Word of God by teaching them, first of all, the foundational principles of Christ and the Word of God. We also give them an international experience as they learn among the nations what the world is like that is shrinking. They also learn cross-cultural sensitivity. That gives them an advantage in the 21st century, for without that, they can't really be as effective leaders as they should, and with it, they're going to be world changers in the sphere of society they have chosen. And that's what multiplying missions is all about. No course is begun until its value to missions is demonstrated. Make every effort to add to your faith goodness. And to goodness, knowledge. And to knowledge, self-control. And to self-control, perseverance. And to perseverance, godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive. In your knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, The Discipleship Training School brings together students and staff from a variety of nations for one purpose, to strengthen their relationship with God and to encourage them to make Him known. The school itself is a 20 to 24 week process that is divided into two phases. The first phase includes teaching on discipleship principles from godly men and women who practice what they preach. The second phase sends teams out to demonstrate the gospel to people in need. The Discipleship Training School is the entry-level school for the University of the Nations. It lays the necessary foundation of knowing God and making Him known. A unique aspect of the University of the Nations is its modular approach to education. And this means instead of studying many subjects over a long period of time, it's taking one topic over a concentrated three-month period. And this allows students to concentrate and maximize their time and energies and just absorb one concept at a time. Another benefit of this system is the mobility it allows. So, for example, a student might want to take the journalism course in Hawaii, and then they want to follow it up on the mission field with their internship, say, in Africa. And then after that, they might want to go and study on a completely different continent. And this opens up new and rich experiences with diverse cultures and peoples. The University of Nations is not only committed to educational excellence in its content and approach, but also is life-changing because it aims to glorify God by serving the students. The courses help us to analyze, synthesize, and evaluate, which I believe is a key way of learning to help us think for ourselves, irrespective of our nationalities or cultures we come from. The other aspects such as intercession, worship, and praise are integrated into every course. It's been a real privilege to have teachers who come from all over the world and who are highly respected in their fields. These teachers come in for a period of one to two weeks and give specialized training in their field of expertise. And now with the development of the Genesis Project, their lectures and their teaching is being expanded so that a classroom in Nepal can be linked with a classroom in, say, Switzerland. And through interactive video conferencing, these two classrooms can be linked together and the quality teaching of the University of the Nations can be expanded, which is absolutely amazing. International in scope, each course provides cross-cultural training that relates specifically to the content of the course. Each area of study includes field assignments and cross-cultural experiences for every student. 
Degree students are required to take courses on at least two continents. It's been great studying at the University of the Nation. It's been a cross-cultural experience inside and outside the classroom. I love that part of it. The Live Learn concept, it's just what those two words say, living and learning together. We have students from different nationalities, different disciplines, all sitting around the table together discussing what God is saying in their classes. Their professors aren't far away, they're right there discussing it with them, and we all live and learn together. Mm -hmm.